Hi, before this video starts, I just wanted to say that I'm not a professional designer. I do this for fun and I'm self-taught and people do things different ways. So I'm just giving you my tips and things that I've learned from designing, but you can do your own thing. Just putting that out there. Okay, enjoy. <music> And today I'm going to be teaching you how to use Medibang and kind of giving you an introduction on how I make road cheer uniforms and giving you tips and tricks. So I'm going to just jump right into it. When you download Medibang, I'll put the link in the description to download it. This is what you're going to see when you first open it and you're probably going to be like, what the hell is this? And I get it, it's very intimidating at first, but once you learn everything, it's really easy and everything is so convenient and it's going to change your road to your designing life. Today I'm going to be teaching you all about the brushes and tools and how layers and folders work and all of that stuff. So you are going to need an advanced template. If you do not have one, I will link one in the description for you to download. Make sure you download it as a PNG file. So once you have the template downloaded, you're going to import it into Medibang. And to do this, you go to File and Open. You are going to open your template from wherever you saved it on your computer, and then it should pop up like this. The very first thing you need to do after opening your template is add a layer on top of the template. We want to do this because if you create a whole uniform, this whole gorgeous uniform that's going to be popping on the floor, and then you need to transfer templates, you are going to realize that it is attached to the actual advanced template and then it's ruined. And we don't want that. So <laughs> once again, add a freaking layer on top of your template. You can even add a folder and put a layer in the folder and maybe name the folder outlined so you can stay organized, but I'll talk more about folders, layers, and staying organized later. Now let's talk about tools and brushes. Here is a lovely screenshot I took of the far left side of the screen and it has all the tools, all the brushes, brush settings, and your color palette. So the first tool you see highlighted is the brush tool. This is pretty much the main drawing tool. You can use any of the different types of brushes on the bottom with this tool. So it's a pretty important one. The next tool is the eraser tool. If you don't know what an eraser is, uh, Google that shit. I don't know what to tell you. So for the next tool, I kind of had to bring back the screen, but it is the shape brush tool. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. But um, you can basically make shapes with this, like straight lines, zigzags, curvy lines, circles, and all of these are at the top. So the next tool down is the dot tool, which I use for sparkles and this tool is amazing for that, so I highly recommend using this. Then you have the moving tool, which let's say you make a line on a uniform and you want to move it, just select that and you can move it anywhere. This next one is the fill tool. I use this a lot. I use it more than the bucket tool, which I'm now using, but I prefer the fill tool. It's self-explanatory, basically. Oh. Okay, next is the select tool and the lasso tool. So basically, the select tool allows you to highlight things to copy and paste them. And to copy and paste, you do control C, control V, and then to flip it, control T, and then that little blue thing will come up, and then you click flip, and then press OK. The lasso tool is the exact same, except you can, like, draw with it. So you could draw a circle around the thing you want to copy and paste, and you would do the same thing, control C, control V, control T, and then flip it. Okay, so I only know two more after that. I don't know what the rest of them do, but there's the color picker tool and the text tool, which I don't recommend adding text to your uniforms with this. I would recommend downloading fonts online, but again, you do you. But basically, the color picker tool allows you to pick whatever color you want on your uniform so you have easy, easy access to it. 
So first I'm going to be talking about the basic pen tool. You can change the size, big or small, you can change the opacity, you can basically do whatever with this. Also, just quick shout out to ISA London. I'm at their showcase right now and they're so cute. Okay, anyways, the next tool I'm going to be showing you is the airbrush tool. This tool is your best friend when you're shading. This is the tool you want to use. Again, you can change the size, the opacity, you can do whatever with it. The next brush is the beads brush. This brush makes really nice, I guess, like rhinestone effects, I guess. This is how I do a lot of my details on my uniforms. So I highly recommend getting this because it, it is so good. But um, it's not going to be there when you first download Medibang. So you have to click the cloud in the bottom left corner and search for beads and there's going to be two that will pop up they both do the same thing just click one of them and then it's gonna look like that so you have to kind of play around with the settings a little bit till you get your desired size and intervals and everything so this is actually going to conclude part one because i'm i've decided that i'm going to do separate parts so I'm going to try to upload another video tomorrow explaining folders and layers and I also want to go over like how to start a uniform so if you're wanting to do that I would def definitely recommend going over all the tools that I just taught getting familiar with that and that way you'll be ready to go when part two comes up. Thank you so much for watching I hope you learned something and I'll see you guys later. Bye.